What's up mga kap and welcome to When in Halifax. On this video, we will discuss about the language test. That's the common questions that we received this past few weeks about the language test. Ayat, Saltib, anong the best best option? Do we really need to take language test para makapag-immigrate at makapag-aral sa Canada? So those are the questions that we will discuss on this video. But before we start, I just want to big shout out to all our community members dito sa ating YouTube channel. Claire's Home, Jing Balabat, Jaybird Adang, and Mariel Pexon. So if you want to be a part of our community exclusive member, click the join now and it's your choice. I'm not promoting it, but if you if you want to avail the perks of being a Capunity exclusive member, then click the join button. But anyway, mga kap, let's go back to our question. Do we do we really need to to take the language test? Meron bang programa na walang IELTS? So that's our that's our question for today. So anyway, mga kap, I want you to remember one thing when you are applying for Canada. If you have dream to immigrate or you're planning to study here in Canada, I want you to do one thing. This is to mindset. I-on nyo na yung English language knowledge nyo and skills nyo. Switch it on. Why? Because Canada is an English language country. Majority of the population are speaking in English. So, if you have a dream, if you have a plan to study here, immigrate here, I want you now to start speaking English, writing in English, watching English movie to enhance your listening. Kasi po, pupunta po kayo sa bansa kung saan English ang language. So, imagine mga ka, what will happen to you if you cannot communicate? And if you are looking for an employer and you are given the chance to interview and you cannot speak properly, you cannot express yourself, you cannot sell yourself, how can you get the employer? So I'm not discouraging you, but I am inspiring you to start today. So if you have a dream to immigrate here, you have a dream to study here, improve your English language para po ma-attain natin ang ating pangapangarap. Bakit ko sinasabi na improve? Because as a Filipino, be proud as a Filipino mga ka because since elementary po tayo, most of our reference, textbook, mga resources are in English. So tayo meron ka ng advantage. The only problem with Filipinos is the confidence and practice. So if you are not confident, if you are not confident to speak English, I want you now to start practicing speaking English. Try to speak in English, try to watch English movies, try to listen English uh, news or movies, try to read in English. Every day should be in English. Because one thing that I realize mga kap, I am not good in English. Mapapansin nyo ang accent ko, maybe you will notice my grammar. But the thing is, Every day po ay English po yung aking mode of communication. And through time, na improve po ito. So imagine, I've been 3 years here na ngayon lang po talaga ako nagsasalita ng English. Alam niya ng aking mga friends and batchmates na hindi po ganun katalas ang aking dila in terms of English. Baloktot ang aking dila pagdating sa pagsalita ng English. However, may pangarap akong pumunta dito sa Canada, kaya po ginawa ko ang lahat para ma-improve ang aking English communication. When we say English communication, able to speak, able to understand. So let's go to the language test. The language test is IELTS and SELFIP. So you have two options. Anong mas magandang itake? So number one that you need to remember with these two exams, they're both language tests. These two exams, the IELTS and the self they will test your four components, your four skills, listening, writing, reading, and speaking. So for me, my best advice, kahit alin dyan ang kunin mo, ang ititest dyan ay yung skills mong magsalita in English. So, I'm going back to my first tip. Practice. Always practice your English language skills. 
hindi po overnight na paggising mo, magaling ka na magsalita. So, you need to practice the English language. So, for me mga ka, if you're watching right now, what I want you to do now is start today to speak English. And if you are in the bathroom, maybe there's a mirror on your washroom, make sure you speak Try to speak, try to speak to, to, your, to yourself, try to see the expressions. You know, it's very important to practice and it's also a mind setting. You need to switch, I mean, switch on yung language test natin, ay language exam, uh, language skills natin. Kasi mga kap, as a Filipino, the foundation of our English napakatatag po. We have a very good foundation because since elementary po, most of our language are in English. Remember, correct me if I'm wrong. Comment it below. Filipino subject lang ang Filipino or Tagalog. Majority of our subject are in English. So if you able to, to go to school, and I'm confident that you are able to go to school because may mag high school man or mag college man yan, or undergrad ka man, lahat ng, langu- uh, lahat ng mga reference and books natin are in English. So be confident mga kap. And that's also my problem that time is I'm not confident to speak English. But what I want you to know is that kapag talaga gusto, maraming paraan. Kapag gusto mo, maraming paraan para ma-improve ang iyong language skills or English language skills. To Im- sa gusto, maraming paraan on how to improve your English language skills. So, pa- how to improve your language skills? There's a YouTube on how. Just search on YouTube how to improve my English or IELTS review or maybe just watch a Netflix English movie instead of Korean novella. So, these are the one way that I want you to remember. So, improve your skills, start today, and with the, with the IELTS and self, if they're both testing your four components of skills, listening, writing, speaking, and of course, reading. And what I want you to remember is with regards to the score. Ano po ba dapat na score na kukunin? Alam mo mga kap, I will not ask for the minimum score. If I'm aiming to immigrate here in Canada and you have a strategic plan, I want you to aim the highest score as possible. Bakit po the highest score is possible? Because again, it's a mind setting. If your goal is 5, 5 lang talaga ang makukuha mo. But if you aim for for 9, you will aim for the highest score as possible, let's say 10, 9, or 8. At least your aim is very high. Bumaba man, at least pasok doon sa minimum. Diba? And at the same time, why I'm saying that aim the highest score as possible? Because if you are aiming for AIPP, sabi natin AIPP is CLB5, and hindi ka nabigyan ng opportunity, you jump to another program, for example, provincial nominee, where in the provincial nominee, ang kailangan ay CLB8. For example, ha, it's CLB8. And wala kang CLB8. CLB8. So what will happen? You will take another language test. How about this scenario? You are planning to take the, the you are planning to take the I uh, you are planning to take the AIPP and you aim the highest score as possible kumuha ka ng IELTS which is na nakuha mo is 8 on all components. Puma, syempre, 8 minimum is 5. Pasok 'yun, di ba? Unfortunately, hindi ka nakaharap ng employer and you jump to another plan B which is the provincial nominee and fortunately, ang swerte mo dahil yung requirements ng language test a uh, 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 language language score is CLB7 for PNP and anong meron ka? meron kang 8 so this is what I want you to visualize mga kap if you're aiming to, to get your language test score make sure that is the highest score as possible don't ask for the minimum score alam mo na ang Canada is an English language country so for sure there is a language test required kung wala mang language test required at least na improve yung English mo kung saan pagdating mo dito sa Canada you are confident now to speak in English kasi matagal ka ng panahong nag-aaral ng English matagal ka ng nagsasalita ng English 
So that's my tip for today and I hope you're able to get my point and I hope you're able to find it informative. If you find it informative, don't hesitate to share this video, ta uh, share this video to your friends and family and of course mga kap, click the subscribe button because we have lots of video um, for you. Thank you mga kap, bye. See you here in Canada.